Autobots Transform. What is up, Transformers family? Thank you for joining me for another episode of George Reviews. I am the 80s Transformer fan, and this is Transformers Studio Series number 86 Autobot Hot Rod brought to us by Hasbro and Takara up here. I guess I should say Takara first, but because uh, I bought it in the United States, I always say Hasbro, Hasbro. And this is the first toy that I've seen officially associated with the 1986 movie. I haven't seen this logo branded on a Transformer toy packaging in a long time. And on the front of the box is an image of a hot rod opening the Matrix. This is brand new artwork or rendering for the figure. You can see the figure fully within the window box packaging you can see his accessories turns to size see more accessories you can see this giant ding on the corner and my tape is actually broken but um i bought it anyway because it was the only one they had and it looks like everything is in the package and we'll put that to the test in one second i'm going to turn to the side of the box side of the box there's studio series down the side 86 right there 04 right there um this is number four in the 86 line i believe hot rod from the matrix um Words of class figure. Back of the box is the product shot, hot robber accessories, and he he's even showing off a feature right there. If you're paying attention, and some features right here in this car mode. It says 29 steps. Knowing me, it'll be 42. So <laughs> since he's already open, I'm going to get him open even further. Take him out of the box. Here he is in his package in his clam. And all the Studio Series figures have like a display board base diorama, whatever you want to call it, in the box. And here is his. I'm going to put the box to the side. Package with him is some instructions. And I'm going to take a brief look at them, but we're going to ignore them for the review because that's how I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Anyway, here is the instructions. Pretty long with 29 steps. And this looks to be, uh, I would say that the inside of Unicron, but it also could be uh, Quintessa. It's kind of weird. I'm just going to say it's the inside of Unicron, I guess, where he was riding around. But you can fold these little pieces out, put this little thing back, and you can display your hot rod like this. But we're going to get them out of this little packaging. And got my scissors. Cut hot rod out. He has a lot of accessories. <laughs> More than I expected. Here is hot rod. Looks to be intact. That's hot rod. I'm going to get his accessories out. Comes with a matrix. Looks to be the same matrix that came with Earthrise Optimus Prime. He has two blast effects. I believe go on his arms in robot mode. He has what I believe is a matrix glow effect. I think this goes over the Matrix. He has two smaller pistols that look like what he's known for in the G1 continuity. And check it out. They just couldn't be bothered to cast it in silver or gray. You know, we, we got to get the same color plastic as the toy. And then over time, watch it scrape and wear away and just look tacky. And he comes with another familiar accessory that he seems to come with a lot more lately. Is the saw that he used one time in Transformers the movie when he was caught underwater with Cup on Quintessa. And he cut himself loose with some tentacles and he battled a giant squid. So here that is and I'm pretty sure this is just silver paint. So on to the figure. Let's take a look at Hot Rod and see how well they did the paint deco and just his stylization overall. Bring it a little bit closer, take a look at his paint apps. I'm going to start with his head. Take a look at that face. It is painted gray. He has blue painted eyes in there. On the top of his head, he has some silver paint. And he has a secondary layer of paint to give his head some extra detail in the darker burgundy. Has some silver paint on his shoulders. The flame is a yellow paint with the Autobot logo painted on top in red. And he has some orange paint on his forearms. And the... Uh, Little side cannons look like they swivel or something. They do actually for trying. I uh, got ahead of myself. I was just curious. And these little side cannons are painted silver. Other than that, I don't see any actual paint that for this mode. So I'll stick with the program. So now I want to roll into Hot Rod's articulation, to, touching his head. 
he can actually look down. A lot of these guys cannot look down, but Hot Rod can look down. He can look up. And I can see the hinge where his goggles come out already. He can look up this far. Um, he can take his head in 360, his head right there. It's pretty good. This he got any side to side. He has a little side to side. Nice, nice. I can see his shoulder joints right here, so we'll go to that. He can get his arms out to the side like that. I'll concentrate on this one arm. It will 360 right there. I don't know what type of hinge that is. It's like plugged into the arm. Um, coming to his elbow. Wait. Does he have a butterfly? Oh, yeah, I, I thought I felt a butterfly. He has a little bit of a butterfly hinge. I guess you can bring it around the top like that, but that is in there. Coming to his elbow, you can get it this far and down. Coming to his hand, his hand 360s. Coming to his waist, his waist will 360. And of course, we get the splits out of these guys. And get his leg to the front this far. And not so so much to the back is hitting on this little plastic piece right here. That's all I can get to the back. But we can we can bend it this far, which is cool, I guess. The hot rod jumping over the Decepticons. Coming to his upper thigh there is an upper thigh swivel. Full 360 on that. Coming to his knee joint, which is like, why is it yellow? <laughs> Just breaking up the scope. Why is that not a, a piece of orange plastic? He can bend his knee that far because of the thickness. That's as high as it can come up. And I'm pretty sure he has a rocker so we can get this guy in a wider stance. And normally I would jump to his articulation at this point. But I am going to go over his accessories. So let's get started. The simplest of them, the guns. They are similar but different like most incarnations of Hot Rod. I guess I should turn them this way so you can see the differences better. I don't know what to call them like they're both pistols I guess but they are different so I'm gonna get them in his hand oh wow you know what I totally I missed the fact his hands articulate I should have known the studio figure hand toy that the hands can open and close but they open and close so I totally missed that for his hand articulation so I'm gonna take the gun close it back up because it basically forms a port it probably fit in his hand without even closing. Yeah, fits with his hands without even closing his hands. And put this one in this hand. Alright. Okay, I got a hot rod with his guns in his hand. But man, his shoulder joints up here are over tight. Like when you move it, you pull in the whole thing. And if you're touching this, you pull in parts loose like that. But the shoulder joints are over tight. I like tight joints, but these are over tight. So this is how hot rod looks with his guns in his hand. Let's see if we can add the blast effects. So now I want to add the blast effects and see how they look. The blast effects are exactly the same. I don't know why I expected more. <laughs> so here he is. And look, every time I try to pull it, it wants to turn to the side and on that little butterfly thing. And we try to straighten it out. Like this is too tight and this is too loose. When I pull this, this comes loose. Which I'm gonna actually use next. So, but anyway, here's Hot Rod with his blast effects. All right, open up the hand right there, and we're gonna rotate it out, swap it out, and close it back up. And there's a port right there, and a peg right there. And oh, I mean, how hard is that? Oh my God, that's so over tight, so over tight. Then, then they over tighten it, and this thing just won't even spin freely. I guess, you know, he's not going to actually do any damn cutting with it, but still, it could spin better than that. So here he is with the saw blade from Transformers, the movie. That he never used again after that, ever again, ever, ever. So it goes right down right down in history next to Optimus Prime's Energy Axe. It was never used again, but somehow it's iconic. All right, moving on. And I guess the last accessory or sort of kind of last accessory is the Matrix of Leadership. And I'm sure I can put it in his hand, but I want to see if I can get it in his chest anywhere. I don't think this damn thing opens and holds the Matrix. But I, oh, I don't know, this part of these transformation, but let's, still exploring. And nope, I don't think it holds the Matrix. You know, and when I do these reviews, a lot of times, because they straight out of the box, I don't use instructions, I, I miss a lot of stuff. So... All right, let me get this guy back together. Okay, let's see the Matrix in his hand. So I'm going to try to put it over his thumb. And on this side, 
over his thumb. And here is our energy of effect. I'm going to assume goes this way over the top. See how I can get it. And there we go. I don't know if I got it upside down. <laughs> Might have it upside down. And now we can light our darkest hour. Arise, Rodimus Prime. Optimus. Yeah! Uh, 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 uh. No. This is the end of the road for your ass, Galvatron. We're tired of your shit. I should have shot you when I had the fucking chance. <laughs> Anyway, a lot of people speculate that Rodimus Prime is coming, and I, I, I'm one of the people to agree that people are saying he's going to be a commander class figure, and I believe it. Everybody's saying he won't be because of how big the commander class figures are, but they've been known to put a, a shrunken figure into a class where it's not as big as the other figures in this class. So I do believe we're going to get a commander, a commander class Rodimus Prime. So I'm going to go from here into my articulation gallery because articulation is only as good as the poses you can get a figure in and let's see what Hot Rod can do. I discovered a hidden accessory while I was posing Hot Rod around. If you come to his right arm and unhinge it and swivel the hand around, he has a hidden accessory or stored accessory. It is the welding torch that he used to repair a cup in the 1986 animated movie. The only time it was ever seen, but it is included here. It's not painted or anything like that, but it's cool that they included it. Hot Rod. Fix me. I enjoyed his pose down, but it showed me a few things. I think I mentioned the shoulders earlier. A few things that I didn't like. Like, um, you really can't get his arm around the front without going over the top. Like that. And then you can't get his arm out to the side. Like, turn the whole joint. Like, you just got to put this arm up here and then point it out. So you can't get this other hand to, like, you got to, point, to aim this way. You got to kind of get that arm over the shoulder like that. And I I didn't like that with the um both both um arms on top of his chest. I mean, you you can make it work. It's not that terrible, but I didn't like that because and then it won't can't get anything going back like because of the mold and the windshield back there. I didn't like that. And um and it, this thing just it comes loose. It's, as you can see, it's not even flush in there from this angle. It comes loose. Then when you move, when you try to move this or move the arm, I'm, I'm getting this coming loose real easy. It untabs real easy. I probably could build it up, but shouldn't have to. 30 bucks for this thing. And it comes loose real easy. And, and man, this, this little ideal joint right here is, is like kind of funky. Uh, I kind of don't like that. I wish it was designed a little bit better in there. And I missed a couple gimmicks or a couple things a little bit earlier, so I'm covering them right now. You can open up his head, bam, see what's on his mind. And fold down his visor he used in Transformers the movie to see the Decepticons were on the shuttle. Help, or it helped magnify his eyesight. And that's a thing. And he has weapon storage, which a lot of people go crazy for. I could care less. And now, again, this is silver paint on red plastic. And they want you to peg it into his back and scrape off your silver paint. So let's get that started. I don't know if they go up or down. I'm going to put them on down. Put this one in here. I know they face opposite each other. Put this one right here opposite. And this one goes here. And this one goes here. Like that. And you store his weapons. I don't know if I got that one all the way in there. All right. His weapons go on his back like that. Then you take this thing. As, as if he didn't have enough already. You take this and plug it on. So guys that don't even have a backpack. They're like, we're going to make a backpack. 
So you can you can have it face up or down, like that. And so, oh. and I guess it plugs on either way, front or back, just like this. And he can carry all that stuff around, but can't carry the matrix. Like, I mean, what do we put the matrix? I can't believe they did that. They didn't put a little hole for the matrix. They could have just left it out because he is Hot Rod, not Rodimus. So. And I uh, don't even know if, uh, yeah, we're not even going to try. And you, if you wanted to, I guess this is in storage because this is just like he'd be using them. You can plug these in. They fit on either uh, any of the holes. And this is popping off. Okay, so anyway, I think I've covered all the features. Hope I haven't left anything out this time. <laughs> So I'm going to roll over into the transformation. And my disclaimer as per the norm is this will not be the official transformation. But I will transform it to the best of my ability. And we're going to start by unclamping this tail fin here, back fin, whatever it is. And I'm going to rotate it around and you can see what's happening here already. Then I'm going to open, separate the chest from the back. And I thought the chest folds out, but the back actually folds out open this part up then we unhinge it again around so we can actually see the hood of the car open it up again so it unhinges um, four times remove his arms out of the way as best as I can so we can get the sides of the front of the car out just like that and then I'm gonna flip Hot Rod's head in and store it in there just like that bring this back down and we have the front of the car then it has to rotate around. I can get it to rotate around. And you can see the front of the car starting to form. Bring these arms around. I'm sure you know it's probably a better way, but you get the gist of it. And this part tabs into here. Maybe I don't need to tab it right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna come to his legs and open up the back of his legs where a lot of parts are cleverly stored open them up and it unhinges two to three times I think three times unhinges like this then we're gonna rotate it around and hinge it over or under his thighs or over his thighs wait got to fold the foot up fold the foot up and fold the foot up over here now we can hinge this over the thighs and form the back of the car you heard it snap in you snap in and same thing here put this in and fold it over the thighs and snaps in for the back of the car get these arms of rest at his side sure i don't know if the fist need to be rotated in or not let me rotate this fist and it's coming together now Right, then this little panel right here that was bugging me in this robot mode it, and, and the tailpipes all hinge around together and cover up that fist which is nice same thing on this side unhinge this piece rotate it around cover up that fist and now I'm just left with tabbing issues now it's time to tab it together that's what happens when you wing it maybe if I didn't wing it so much it will be a better fit as I'm transforming and there is a port there in the tab right there get that arm to stick in there and I'm gonna try to pull the same thing on this side sticks in there sticks in there and these pipes actually fit together I can get them to fit together both sides I've done it right I'm gonna get this thing to oh this there's two tabs right there that I didn't get to go underneath probably because my steps are off Ah. All right, well, this is the basic <laughs> transformation I am going to pause and they get it tabbed all in and come right back so I don't wait all right I got it transformed to the best of my ability and I have a little gap issue right here and it's present on both sides and even when I squeeze it it doesn't appear to like come down any more than that Seems like it could be a little bit better right here, but these are on hinges. 
so I don't know about that. So here is Hot Rod. Whoa, maybe I should have turned. <laughs> I should have turned his head around. <laughs> He's just very creepily looking out the window, like I see you. All right, I backed up the transformation a few steps and rotated his head. I started to rotate his head in the first place, but <laughs> it's right behind the windshield. But now nah, it looks a lot better. Taking a look at him in his vehicle mode, from certain angles, he looks great. He really does. Um, this little gap right there is kind of bothering me. Might have to figure out something I can do with that. Transform it a couple more times. Maybe I can get rid of it. It seems like this part. Well, no, it's not really. Even if I mash it, it's not really closing. Maybe it sits that way. I don't know. I have to look at some pictures online or something like that. But here is the vehicle mode. It is not bad. Like I said, the only real problem is when you turn it around, you see the knees. I've seen people post it on social media complaining about it. The kneecaps with high rod or whatever. And, um,. Other than that, it cleans up pretty good. When you turn it over, it's all lined up pretty good. It's all filled in. You got this smaller space right here, but it's all it's, it's filled in pretty good. I just wish it rolled a little bit better, but at the same time, it kind of rolls good enough. It's these tires right here just won't even if I uh on my surface, I guess. But it's not rolling. The back tires roll just fine, so you can hear them still roll. Whatever they did in the, in the back, they should have did in the front. And not any much more paint going on. You can see the tail fin a lot better. It is yellow plastic, which is good. I think um, the Masterpiece Rodimus, it was painted over, which really bugged the hell out of me. And so, not like I said, not a lot going on. The canopy does not open. So I'm going to go ahead and compare him to the Generation 1 Hot Rod side by side. Check them out size-wise. It's just a little bit lower. This one is more cartoon accurate, actually, the shape and everything. Uh, and the colors are more cartoon accurate as well. This is a burgundy, and this is more of a maroon. Let's see how they scale. Come this way. Yeah, they're right there inside. Weapon storage in vehicle mode. Everything stores on the exact same peg in the exact same way. And weaponization in vehicle mode. The same weapons plug almost into the same identical port for the front of the vehicle. And he can drive around blasting Decepticons. And if you even wanted to, you can add this thing. But I noticed while I was adding this thing, I was creating stress marks on the top and the bottom. Or the bottom and the top, which one is which. Uh, just porting it on to these two pegs. So you might want to be careful with that. All right, I got Hot Rod back into his robot mode. I'm gonna immediately jump into the size up and the rundown. Here is Siege Ultra Magnus. We got Siege Springer and Generations RC. It's probably my favorite RC. To see how the Studio Siege Hot Rod scales with these guys. Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime. I have Generation 1 Cup for you guys. And here he is with all my Hot Rod Rodimus Prime incarnations from my collection that I could find at the time. Alright everybody, to close out this review, I like this figure. It has an excellent, excellent robot mode. It really does. The car mode, not so much, which is kind of a letdown because, I mean, it's Hot Rod. I know Hot Rod is just his name and what's in the name, but he turns into a Hot Rod. And the Hot Rod, the car mode wasn't that fun. And it really should be fun. It should have rolled better. It should have tabbed together better. And again, you no, know, sometimes this is my transformation, but it should have just been pulled off a little bit better. But he instantly lands at number two of the best Hot Rods in my collection. Only behind the Masterpiece. And in some ways, uh, the, the overall look in Robot Mode is better than the Masterpiece version. So having said that, I do want to say... Hot Rod gets such a bad rap. He was a cool character in the cartoon. It wasn't until he became Rodimus Prime that he totally sucked ass. So having said that, I want to thank everybody for joining me for another episode of George Reviews. The reviews where every toy has a story.
Autobots, transform!